viewers and welcome back to the self made auto channel coming out to do a little bit of a weekend catch up work got a subaru out there that got towed in this past week thursday or friday i think it was guys driving on the road and lost the front wheel couldn't find the rim couldn't find a tire banged up the front of the car a little bit so we're gonna check it out see if we need to do wheel studs or what we have to do i just sits outside on a jack stand now i did get us a used rim and a new tire so we got that mounted up see if we get the car pulled in and make an assessment Evidently, he just had tires put on this thing a week ago. This is the used rim I got for us, the wheel. Hopefully it's straight. Usually the salvage yards check them. This came from a pretty reputable one. And then I also have, you know, because everybody's going to question about it being, you know, a Subaru and putting one tire on it. The tires are only a week old, so don't worry. This is the exact tire that goes on the car. It has Uniroyal Tiger Paws on it. That's exactly what I got. And I know I got questioned about that one time. Uh, pretty good. People got pretty excited about it. A lot of folks ask the black stuff I put inside the rim is a product called Fry Lube. It's just uh, anti corrosive, keeps the uh, corrosion and you know rust and crap down. I buy it in the big buckets and then just transfer it in my little one, so that works good. Also, this wheel here they use one clip on weight and one, st Whoa! Get one stick on weight. You can see all the remnants of the old stick ons, nobody ever cleans the you know the old sticker goo off. So, what I use is a uh, 3M pinstripe eraser now this normally goes on a low speed drill uh, my other drill i have it on broke so i've just got it on this one it sits over on the tire machine and it just goes through and rubber erases that stuff off without you know screwing the rim all up because if you don't take that stuff off you can guarantee that's where the new weight needs to go it's a lot easier to do right here than it is on a tire machine just isopropyl alcohol in a fancy container. 
just use that to clean where the sticker goes on. Ah, we didn't have to clean it. Actually needs a wheel weight in a spot where there wasn't one stuck. Imagine that, it never happens, trust me. If you don't clean it, you know right where they're gonna go. So we need a half ounce is all. Stick on weights hold surprisingly well. There we go. Snug these up if it'll pull that caliper over or not. I'm not super concerned, I just want to get it indoors. Hey, it's that guy! be a mechanic anymore. Just went in and talked to the boss. He told me if I stayed he's gonna give me a raise so I decided to come back. Oh baby. A lot of people cringing right now. Huh? Forget about it. Alright. I think it'll be all right. Let's go blow the rust off these rotors so we can have a good look at stuff. Something up there making some noise. Of course, that rotor come down and hit the blacktop pretty hard. I guess he was going down the highway. Jump her arrow tracks.
it'll do. Got to have a good look at these studs. They don't look like they have any damage other than having a bunch of aluminum in them. We'll take and buzz this brakes off here. It's got to have a dander at things. Up, that's a miracle. It's gonna be long, and we need some new ones, anyways. I think it's just our tin shield back there making all that racket. I'm sure when it hit the pavement, it was probably making some noise. Or grinding or got smashed up in or something. I need a swivel socket. See a big old flat spot in the end of the rotor where that hit the ground, but must be as a near miss. Old shield seem better days. <laughs> yes, sir. You pretty well rusted off anyway. There's only two little spots holding it down. Give her a couple wiggles here. Maybe cut off wheel. It's all busted off the bottom, so let's take a cut off wheel, finish nicking that off. Ay, ay, ay. ball joint took the brunt of the forest it pretty much ground three quarters of that ball joint not off there so it's gonna need new ball joint this car is pretty rough shape it is the guy's beater car I see the ABS sensor is held in with a zip tie now before I did this when this was out in the parking lot this whole thing was solid mud uh, he uses it just for a work vehicle this is what it uh, typically looks like in the wheel wells like I say it's, it's pretty rough we're not going to put a, a dust shield back on it. We'll probably just stuff a ball joint in it and, uh, you know, ship it down the road. Like I say, he just he uses it to beat around. He's got a nice car, plus this one. And uh, that's what it did to the fender when the tire came up into it. So the door hits when you open it. He just asked me if I'd take a pry bar and just, you know, bend it out so his door will open. So I spoke with the customer and told him where we're at because I told him we need to do the ball joint because... I don't know how long that'll last, you know, for, maybe it'll never go bad, but, you know, we want to change that. Told him about the heat shield, or the, the dust shield that goes here. He asked me if it needed it to make it move. I said, no, he said, forget about it. Then. So we're just going to do the ball joint. <laughs> now this thing's so chartered up, I'd like to be able to get the nut off, because I'd like to be able to save the stud to use my ball joint pole. <laughs> so I want to get some of the mushrooming off. <laughs> The good news is we don't have to worry about breaking the cross bolt because somebody already busted it off and stuck a nut and a bolt in there. Like I say, this, uh, this, ain't, this old girl's first rodeo. Hey, hey, hey. What do you say? That's all that's left to that nut. She's pretty thin. Hopefully those threads are still usable for us. Got a puller that goes on here. Astro makes it, but it requires the use of the threads. We get a pickle for the spokes before we bust it out of there. We can see if we can get that bolt out. Oh, the nut came off. And the washer, oh wow. Oh boy. There it is. 
Ay, 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 folks. Sometimes I hate cleaning up other people's messes. That ball doing is bad anyways. Well, we ran out of room pretty quick there. Let's see if we can double peck on this baby. Look at that. Something happened. Hooray. Oh, yeah, right. Let me go get something a little stronger than me. Yeah, I don't know. Them threads are looking pretty angry. I definitely don't think we're going to be able to use our tool. Hey, what, though? We'll see if we can't run a thread chaser over it. So it'd be nice to just be able to use the ball joint puller. I think these are just 12150. It's like the uh, same thread as the lug nuts. The wheel nuts, wheel studs, rather. There's a 12125. What is it, fellas? 12125? Is that what that is? 12125, that's what it is. 12 something. <laughs> Square it up a little bit. We get our thread chaser to whiz up on there. Maybe. Just maybe. This is the ball joint puller. Astro makes this little guy. I'll show you. I'll show you how she works. Take this nut off the end. And inside of here, there's another piece that we need. So we made a ball joint puller too. Ours goes on a slide hammer. And conveniently, the one Astro makes here can be used on a slide hammer or with their little pulling apparatus because it's 5 8 fine thread on that side 12 1 2 5 on this side we thread it on the ball joint and then you can either stick your slide hammer in here and whack it off or you can use the puller which you know you put the nut back on that side and brrr, ding, out it comes right, we should have enough meat up get a hold of that sucker still. If anybody's done these Subi ball joints knows that these suckers like to get seized up on here. They get seized in the knuckle. Now this one obviously has been done before. But these things can be a real piss pot to get out. That. I should yank it right out. That's right. There she is. No fuss, no muss. I tell you what. It's not a very expensive tool, but it will save you time. Whoa! Almost on my tootsie, because there's our ball joint. Now we have to wait for the very lovely Mrs. O to show up with our new ball joint. I'm going to have a look-see at these studs. We'll run a thread chaser over, because they do have some aluminum plugging up the threads. I just want to make sure they're not ate away. Usually steel rims will really destroy a wheel stuff. Well, that was 
is easy. I did get all new studs for it without looking at it because sometimes even just the rotor coming loose, you know, somebody loses a wheel and the rotor's been chucking around on there, it'll wall them up, but I don't see a single mark on these things. So I guess we can just clean up this hub face, get our brakes put back together while we're waiting. Cleaned up the inside of the rotor and the sandblaster and the bracket too. Cleaned off the face of it here also. So that's one thing that'll get you in our climate. Like you start getting a lot of corrosion on the back side of the wheel or on the face of the rotor. And then you tighten the wheel up and you think, you know, you think that it's tighter in the wintertime. You can get, you know, dirt and debris and junk here. You tighten up the wheel in a hurry, you know, crap stripping off the car. All of a sudden that stuff works loose and you know your wheel that was previously tight or you know you thought it was tight I can't push that tire right over you know it's now loose so I went ahead and you know cleaned out this bracket too we'll lube this up I see the pins are free on like I said the brake pads are you know better better than half wore out but we'll you know reuse them he doesn't want to put a ton of money into this thing so yeah Let's see if we can't clean out up inside the ball joint like hole here Get some memory cloth lock nut they had on there which is good we're gonna be double safe this is the double safety channel put a little red loctite on that get that back through beautiful one of our finer moments but you knew what the customer wants I guess or what they can afford to fix a lot of people on our channel kind of flip out you know we should have sold them a knuckle and brakes and wheel bearings and the fact is you can only do what they want or what they can afford to do and keep on moving it's a whole different story you know you're working on your own stuff or Whatever. Of course, I guess you can't do things that would, you know, if the customer wants you to do something dangerous, I guess. But other than that, you know, this guy just wants to get this old beater back on the road. He's got a, he's got a really nice car. He's got a really nice car, a really nice truck, but he uses this one on his farm. crappy work it's just usually the farmers around here their farm cars or farm trucks they don't uh, they don't put a lot of money into anything's too expensive they just can it and just get a different one no idea where they get them inspected but I'll tell you that <laughs> not here one thing I'm not leaning on whatsoever There. It's good to go again. Alright, let's see if it sounds any better. I'll we'll come back and take care of the rest of this business sitting in the parking lot. Oh, sounds 
wheels better already. I did go around to make sure all the other wheels are tight. <laughs> and one of them babies flying off on us. It must have been a scary ride, let me tell you. I guess that's it folks uh, it doesn't look pretty <laughs> and you know we can only do what we're what we're asked to do cars safe now you know the ball joints good the wheels bolted back on there's still brake pad left on it all the rest of the stuff is up to him like I say you can hear wheel bearings howling when you're driving down the road and everything else it is what it is I'm gonna keep moving you guys move on down there and hit that subscribe button leave any questions comments or criticisms in that comment box below and just remember viewers if I can do it you can do it. Thanks for watching.